Hi friends. So today I'm going to uh, discuss on the second part of this UI developer React JS interview questions. So this part is for the coding questions which I had faced uh, for the interview, and uh, this is for the JavaScript. So the first question. Code for returning sum of five numbers using function query. So actually, I was asked to uh, write a program to provide sum of five numbers, and then he wanted to me to modify it using function query, and to explain the concept behind it. So that was the first question. Uh, second question: Code for finding the max repeated character in a string. So a string is given, and we we need we need to find the max repeated character. If a character is repeating for the five times and other one for the two times, we need to uh, output the five time repeated character. If uh, two characters are repeating for the same uh, max count, then we need to provide it as an array. Now, code for returning the longest string. So, uh, I was given with a uh, le uh, length five of a uh, few words and one uh, word with six uh, length as six. So, I wanted to display that uh, word which was having a uh, length as six. Now, fourth one. Each object have a person's first name, middle name, and last name. So, I was given five object and each was having this first name, middle name, and the last name. So, I wanted to display the first name and last name of the five of all the five objects in a like uh, in the console. So, how we will do that? That was the other one. Now, the next question is to display hello after one second. So, for every one second, it needs to uh, print in the console as hello, hello, hello. And it should only uh, uh, continue till the 10 second. After that, it should not be displayed. Uh, so, that was the other code. And then the next code was the shallow copy and deep copy. So, how we will explain them through a code. Uh, deep copy, even if you are not able to provide a code, uh, it's fine. But shallow copy, we need to be like... a uh, uh, have uh, a good understanding on that now other question so this is for like a uh, let constant bad so how it is uh, like uh, what is the concept what is the knowledge on uh, it uh, it helps in uh, checking like what is the knowledge we have in hoisting scoping those logic so this is a question for let and the next question is for the const so we know that const uh, uh, words like objects and all we can't reassign right so how it will be affecting in this prop when we modify a property those things then the next question is to sort array of numbers so uh, array uh, sorting of array of words and all strings and all it is very easier using this array dot sort method right so but in a num uh, in sorting the numbers it's actually a little different so that's why a question was asked for me on that now code for returning sum of array elements using array.reduce method. So the same finding sum using array.reduce method. So it is used to check for the awareness of uh, reduce method. Then the next one. So a, an item is given a const and a jacket and t-shirt some items are given. So its length is uh, assigned as zero. So how uh, like uh, how the array is getting modified when we specify the statement item dot length equals to zero. So that's what uh, the interviewer wants to know. Then the next question is to find uh, using map find the probability of string to be palindrome. So a word is given. Um, uh, usually we know that a word is given, and if, if you, we need to check whether it's palindrome or not, we will check from the both side, right? M A D A M. So uh, M is uh, at the beginning and the end also it's uh, there and A is there and here after D is also A is there so that is a palindrome matter but here a word is given like A D A uh, M M so this word is given and we are uh, supposed to say that whether the rearrangement of the character will give a palindrome or not so that that was the question and we wanted to like the interviewer wanted me to specify uh, specifically tell uh, explain the logic using the map so that was the other question now the next one is enter the numbers 1 to 10 into an array and it should be uh, inputted in a ascending order so how we will do that so using this unshift method so that that is what the uh, i have uh, given the answer now the next question is to display numbers with multiples of 5 using filter and map method. 
so here here interviewer wants to know whether we are aware of this filter and map method so uh, like uh, there are so many numbers and we need to filter it out using only the uh, only for the multiples of five numbers with multiples of five and then we need to display it using map methods so these were some of the javascript coding questions which were asked uh, in my interviews so i hope it would be helpful for you so please do subscribe my channel for more videos and please do comment uh, for uh, any queries and for the specific ppt for the original one like uh, for the previous one also some a few of them had asked me but i had lost it so please take uh, take the screenshots of that so that uh, would be otherwise i need to create it for the further right uh, so that's why please uh, do understand and uh, kindly do the subscribe uh, subscribe and uh, score more videos thank you